We're on the road. Where transportation goes, community grows. Welcome to On the Road with the MTA. And welcome to another exciting edition of On the Road with the MTA. I'm Jay Gibbons alongside with Stephanie Kay from the MTA. And guess who we have in the studio again today? Very mm-hmm. special guest, my favorite. Every time we have him on, I get excited and our rates go up. People, The ratings go up. People love to see him and yes. hear him. And it's Mr. Ed Benning, the CEO of MTA. Thank you for being well, thank here, you. Ed. Yay. Thank you for that. In nice live and in person. Introduction. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, he thank just you. won the Hometown Hero Award. He won the B.B. Nolan Award. He won the Impact for Business Award. He's winning so many awards. We're going to have a whole new room. Just we should awards. ask him what award has he not won yet. <laughs> That's true. Well, he didn't win the ugly contest today at the no. uh, <laughs> chamber because he didn't participate. Uh, but no. no. I wasn't involved with that. <laughs> I said, every time you walk, I'm going to start to applaud. Here's the you know, hometown hero. Uh, we should. You do so much for this area uh, of this community. You should be so you. proud. Yeah. yeah. We have a great team here. So, you know, we're very fortunate that we uh, have such great people to work with. So, well, yeah. yeah. Yep. Great team. A great team. Mm-hmm. And you're one of them too, Jay. You know, this is Christmas season and I must say, everyone loves Christmas and buying mm-hmm. gifts. You're a gift every day to the community with what, what, what you oh, do. Oh, well, look at, well, but, he's, she's really buttering you well, up. it's true. It's true. I Just guess. imagine, wow. imagine <laughs> not being able to get to the grocery store to get groceries for your Christmas dinner. Uh-huh. And MTA is right there to take you. So yep. it is a gift every day. But I'm going to share one little bit of tidbit information. Every time I try to give something that's interesting or helpful, when you're ordering something for Christmas, if you get it from eBay or Amazon, whatever, check the box. Even if it's for a gift for somebody, open it and look at it to make sure. My neighbor bought a DVD and he opened it up and it was a blanket inside. So somebody had bought it, returned it, and just had a blanket inside. So oh. they did make it right. But just going to say, check the boxes, especially at Christmas, but even after that for birthdays, anniversaries. Oh, wow. Yeah. Who okay. knew? Wouldn't you have been embarrassed if you would have given that to somebody that you knew and loved and they didn't tell you? Sure. There was a blanket inside a DVD yeah, box? Sure. It'll be wow. humiliated. So there you go. It's my little tidbit for the, uh, <laughs> yes. the yes, to help you along Practice the way. Practice safe shopping. That's right. So, yep. Mr. Benny, if you just want to, like, park the cart in my driveway, I'll know it's from you. Okay. I won't. <laughs> yeah. okay. With a big bow in it, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You won't have to wrap that. It's much easier. You don't just have to worry about, about the bow, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm honest when I say how serious I feel about you being a gift to the community. And I've heard oh, that you. from more than just one person. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's thank so you. true. Well, the community's been so good to us, you know, and I, I never take it for granted. And I really appreciate it. You know, sometimes I'm overwhelmed by by all of the great things that people uh, say and and uh, the way I'm treated, I, I appreciate it. But it's more than me, you know. It's We, we have a family here at the MTA, a family of, of people that really serve this community and, and go do everything we can to make life better for, for everyone around us. And it's all about the quality of life. And it's also our own families, you know, my family, the support from my family and, and each of you and your support from your families uh, makes it, you know, all worthwhile. But we also recognize at Christmas we have many challenges. And so we go from one challenge to the next to the next in the community. Yeah. And, and, you know, sometimes we wish, I know I wish that there was more we could do uh, but there is a limit in how much you can do at sure. the same time. You know, we just had the old newsboys that just had right. their effort here. And I was watching people working out on the street and, and doing that work. And some of those people were there for eight hours. I mean, they were mm-hmm. there first thing in the morning. They were there in the evening. When I went back by, I was surprised. And and then you, you go around to the different organizations that are, are doing things, whether it's the um, Catholic Charities and the Soup Kitchen and handing out uh, gifts, you know, Salvation Army, all the great work they do. And, you know, you can, you can go on and on because there's uh, many groups in the uh, organizations in the community that are doing their very best to make Christmas special for others. And so as much as we all uh, enjoy Christmas, we enjoy getting together with family and time off and doing things, you know, at the same time, you know, in the back of your mind, you know, there's a lot of challenges around us. And so... We, um, we just try to do as many things as we can and make sure that we never lose sight of that. And so when I look at Christmas, I think, you know, it's all about family. It's, you know, faith, family, and uh, understanding that uh, with the challenge we have, we have the opportunity to make a difference in people's lives. Sure do. Absolutely. Every day we do. Mm-hmm. I know. Mm-hmm. Simply is like I said, going to the grocery store. No, yep. we, we take it for granted that you can get there. Absolutely. But if your child's sick, it takes the doctor. You know, you know, it's just like uh, Thanksgiving, you know, I was mentioning to someone that um, many of us would go out and do our shopping ahead of time. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you go to the store the day before uh, Thanksgiving and there's people there 
Some maybe their schedule's been busy. Some it's because they had to pull the money together to be able to put on Thanksgiving dinner. And in some cases, they don't have the money, so they went somewhere to have a Thanksgiving dinner. But you quickly realize that we're going through some very, very challenging times. And so our Christmas this year, or for the last three years, been a little different. They and, sure and, have. Uh, you know, I think it gives us all an opportunity to pause and reflect and understand that people are going through tough times. Mm-hmm. They are. Well, that's why I appreciate when you had given the free transportation to many meals. I know the Salvation mm-hmm. Army had one, and you provided, MT provided free transportation to those meals. And you were even there serving yourself, mm-hmm. which I thought was really mm-hmm. commendable. And there was a different, you can look back to the um, podcast. There's, there's free meals everywhere, mm-hmm. and we, MTA has provided rides for that. And we just, I'm very proud of you for doing that. I know you, can, yeah. like, you can't do it everywhere all the time, but you do what you can. Well, and it's amazing. Yeah, and, you know, we're really fortunate because um, I know you, you you came out and others came out to to help on those activities. And oh, I love doing the that. The community um, really appreciates it. And mm-hmm. uh, uh, I have I've been at a dinner serving and witness people that would take a biscuit or take a piece of chicken or piece of turkey, I should say, and put it in their pocket. Uh, beyond what was on the plate and very quickly you'd recognize that uh this is not normal you know and i mean not look at it in a negative way but i pointed out to my grandchildren they've been there for many many years helping the salvation army dinners and and, you know they'd be the first one to ask me are we going you know Uh i want to go and help but they got to see that and witness that and you know, one time an individual folded up the plate he had, put it in his pocket, and then got another plate so he Aww. could go through the line. And so you very quickly start understanding that, you know, Ugh. people are um, dealing with a lot. They sure are. And they don't yeah. always tell you. They're, they have pride. No. You know, oh, yeah. yeah. They don't want to tell you. No, you, know, the, you know, the soup kitchen recently ran out of, um, out, of, out of bread. And so they've been using hot dog buns and they're using bagel buns. Oh, and so we're, we're a group of us are working to help them to get bread. But um, I happened to go over there one day dropping off some bread here recently, and uh, individuals that came out to help. Now these are individuals that eat the, you know, they're there daily to have something to eat, and they were the most appreciative people. You, you just I couldn't even uh, describe to you how happy they were to see bread. Oh, <laughs> so, isn't that something? You know, so I that's know. amazing. Yeah. yeah, I was uh, years ago. I was dropping a big bag of clothes off to the Catholic charities. And there was a side area you can go into, but there was also a group of people in line to eat they were for a free oh, lunch. Oh, sure. And I said to the lady in charge, I said, I'm not sure, do you take bras too? Because I have some bras in here. She goes, oh yeah, we'll take it all. And the lady in line said, do you have bras? And I said, yeah, she like ripped that bag open. She was taking some, she needed them. She needed a bra. I mean, oh. you just don't realize the needs that some of these people oh, sure. have and how mm-hmm. desperate they were to have the proper clothing and the proper sure. food, nutrition, especially if you have children, trying to feed mm-hmm. the children. I know we do a lot with the old newsboys. They um, they do so much too. They give a box oh, of, to each child, that. and and they don't go according to your income. He no. said, "I don't care because you might have the biggest job in the in the area, you know, making more mm-hmm. money, but you can't pay your bills." He mm-hmm. said, "Sometimes that happens to people. Maybe a medical bill happened or something." Mm-hmm. So he said, "We don't ask about your yeah. economic level. We just say, right. do you need do you need help? Come on yeah. in." Well, you know, just just getting through uh, the challenges we have now, whether you know, it's fuel if you're. If you own a car and paying the fuel for the car or heating your home or buying groceries, and uh, we all know what that experience is like. You sure. go to the grocery store nowadays. Oh, my and, gosh. <laughs> you know, uh, by the bag, a lady was telling me the other day, she said, you know, I used to get three bags, and it was probably around $70. And she said, now I get two bags, and it's $100. Oh, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know, I know. Uh, you know that's – we all, you know, had an opportunity to see that. But we're very fortunate that we – um we have a great community that always looks at ways to help others. And so I, I, I'm really proud of our community. I'm mm-hmm. proud of what our people do and how our people understand that uh, those around us need some help. They might need a, a hand up, you know, and uh, don't look as though um, who qualifies and who don't qualify. And, you know, on Sunday mornings, uh, some of our employees here, they go to the church. Presbyterian uh, Church. First Presbyterian mm-hmm. Church, and they provide breakfast every Sunday morning. And um, we have, I think, three of our employees that that go there. No one asks, you know, if you qualify, you know, if you show up, you can have breakfast. Right. If you're that hungry, come on in. We're going to feed you. It was kind of funny. I was at the uh, soup kitchen the other day, and and so I'm dropping some things off, and a lady comes over, and she goes, 
we have a lot of food. So she says, you know, have something to eat while you're oh. here. You know? <laughs> so I said, well, I appreciate it. She said, no, I mean, you know, come have some food. Oh. I said, well, I, I appreciate it. i got to pass. i got to run. But it was really nice of her. That was know? sweet, yeah. yes. And there's, <laughs> there's groups that come there from schools. Yesterday, Flushing School was at uh, the soup kitchen helping. And uh, every week there's people there from the community that are helping out. And that's a real eye-opener. Really yeah, it really is. See, you know. Well, I know you, you see the need and you do mm-hmm. care, but you do one step further. You take action to make it happen. Oh, sure. Because even the, the Senior Power Day, you'll yeah. say, okay, we're going to make sure that the seniors get to there that day for free. Oh, sure. So they can yeah. get all of the information they might need and their resources. And that's, that's a big deal. I mean, we Absolutely. have to really you know, put forth the, the drivers and the, and the buses, but you make that happen. And just recently here, too, with the wreaths across America for the veterans, mm-hmm. and this is the volunteers will come and put wreaths in all of the graves. I think we gave them eight buses and a warming bus. I don't think people realize we are also the very first to respond, the first responders to any kind of a tragedy. Sure. We sure. will send buses there to get people out of the, uh, harm's way and mm-hmm. into safety mm-hmm. and send warming buses for them as Absolutely. well. That's all because of you. And I just, that's why I say it truly is a gift. People don't realize what all you do. Well, thank you. You know, it's, it's beyond me. It's, it's well, all of you the make great, us do it. So that's all, okay. the, <laughs> all the great people in the organization and, and our employees really enjoy getting involved they do. in that. They, they can see the value of that and they understand how important that is to, to be involved in those type of activities. So it makes you really proud that, uh, we're, we're able to do it. Often the way I look at it is, if someone makes you aware of something, you're now on notice, mm. in my opinion, that you can take an action or not take an action, or you can be a creative and find a way to fix it. And I like the idea of fixing it. You and do. W- I've seen you fix w- things. When we can. And I think if we approach life that way, we do much better. Yep. If we, uh, so I say, put your antenna up, listen. When you see something that's happening, that you can make a difference, small difference, incremental, small change. Mm-hmm. In people's lives, that's huge. Well, it is. I know people don't like to complain to. I don't like to complain to ever because I want to give you the positive stuff. But if there's ever a, a situation or an issue I tell you about, you fix it. You'll yeah. say, well, what's happening here? Let's take a look at that. Yeah. There was one gentleman that um, the bride was late picking him up. And we gave him a monthly free pass to say, I'm yeah. so sorry for the services. We'll make sure that you're, you know, we, you, you just, you take the steps to make it right sure. and to make it convenient for people. And I just say, oh, sorry, we're busy. Too bad. Yeah. And. I hope everybody's not going to call now. So it was my free pass, but <laughs> <laughs> no, my free pass. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. we do. And you know, we talked about the employees. I have to mention just a few. Michelle Ruffin is in charge of what I just said, the wreaths across America, which mm-hmm. a lot of buses, eight of them. And, um, she works very close with Kevin Galloway, who's amazing, but he's out of town right now. Mm-hmm. And so she's doing it by herself and she doesn't complain. She does it well. And she communicates. I love working with her and Vernon, I think his name is Vernon Beasley. Is that who you're talking about? That does mm-hmm. the free breakfast. He, he serves. Yep. At the um, First Presbyterian Church, he was just awarded the Hometown Hero, you said? He was, yes. Wow. That's amazing. Actually, he was a Hometown Hero, I think it's this week. I think he's okay. they're sending the link to me. I, I nominated him. And he was way overdue for yes, being nominated. Yes. And he's an individual that never asked for for anything. No. Uh, yet he's there every week. And I mean, people in the community, they know for Vern not only serves the food, but he is the resident security guard. <laughs> so oh, really? Self-appointed, but <laughs> he, he, uh, he never has an issue. He talks to everyone, and uh, they really appreciate him. And, you know, he also has served many times as our resident Santa Claus. And, well, I was going to say, he's in his little helper. He's not the real Santa, but he's in yeah. his little helper. That's right. <laughs> yes. He's his helper. And uh-huh. so I've watched him in action, and he is phenomenal, not only with the little people, Watch him with seniors. You get him with a group of seniors, and he he is a Santa. I, I just mean, hooked he, him up with a bag of candy, so he's oh, going to be a most he, famous Santa. Now. If, you <laughs> ever, if you ever watch him, you I'm going to go see him. You realize the enthusiasm that this person puts in. Can't and, wait to hear that. And we certainly need to let everyone know that he became the home, hometown hero. That's so cool. He people he he does not watch channel five so he wasn't aware of it but oh everyone started coming to him and saying hey, you're on channel five you know he's like really he had <laughs> so, no idea yeah, he, I called, love that. he called my uh administrative assistant and said hey i want to thank you know you want to thank me for nominating him and he wants to get together and have a coffee together we will but i was so happy to hear that yes. and then today at an event they pointed out to me hey your guy actually was 
the hometown hero, we're going to send you a link. So I, I was happy to hear that. Well, you shared that because you're a hometown hero too. So absolutely. you can share that title. Absolutely. We should have him on just as one podcast just for Vernon. Oh, I think absolutely. That's he, yes. Plan on uh, staying for a while because yeah. he likes it. Yeah. Well, he did oh, retire wonderful. and he pulled him back in. Yeah. <laughs> he came back. He's uh, he's an amazing individual. I I think the world of him. Oh, yeah. yes, me he's, too. He's, he's there's wonderful. not enough Vernons in the world. I agree. You know? When I first started here, we did a thing um, and you, you okayed it. You let us do it. Remember when Bay City had that dam that burst and it was a flooded mm-hmm. area? Well, the first responders were working so hard. And so we devised, a, um, I took him free dinner yep. to say thank you and transportation to get him there. Yep. And Vernon was one of the um, bus drivers. Yeah, sure, you know, he was, sure. he works no, well under pressure. If there's a problem, he doesn't let it show. He just, oh can't. no, he's, he's great. He's great. Now some people, you know, uh, it's hard for them to be around him. And sometimes I, uh, I say it's only because they can't keep up with him. <laughs> you know, there's yeah. people that status quo is great, and then there's Vern. <laughs> so, you know, and I like Vern. He's <laughs> so, great. Yeah, but for someone to go every Sunday morning, yes, without fail, he's there. Dick Scaff told me about that because Dick Scaff also oh, goes there. He oh, said, yeah. "Yeah, Vernon's there every Sunday too." Oh yeah, very highly, uh, you know, very highly recognized uh, in the community by the people that go there, but not so much where he ever received attention. And he's never said, guess what I do? Or I mean, yeah, he, he played Santa Claus so oh, well and he never oh. minds like, where's that suit? Y'all do it again. And he just, he's willing to help every yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Love him. So yeah, we're lucky. We have some great people here. Oh, we sure do. Well, know. you know, we're, as we're getting through Christmas, we're, we're getting ready for the new year and the new year for us. Uh, we have, you know, so many things on our, our, I know. on our plate as Exciting. we move forward. Yep. Uh, we still have the challenge of transforming services and getting ready for the future. And so that's a big undertaking. Uh, that will mean many things. I told the staff this week I want to reduce the size of the buses from 40 foot to 30. I want to use 30 foot vehicles that can be more flexible, go deeper in the neighborhood, provide more service. And they're more right size to what's going on in the world today, you know, mm-hmm. smaller vehicles. Sure. And, so we'll be looking into that. At the same time, we have our new fare structure, that new fare program that's going to be coming out. We have a millage renewal in the community, which is very important. No increase. Uh, it's just No, the, there'll be no increase, but it, it will be, you know, extremely important for our future. And then w- as we transform services, we'll have a big job of communicating how to use services. And we have to understand that people, we're going to have to acclimate them to the differences and what it means. But it won't be long before people realize, you know what, I don't have to call in now. I can just get on this app yes. and I can have the vehicle come to my home mm-hmm. or come pick me up. And I'm getting out of work later, so I'll just call them like Uber or Lyft type operation and I can get a ride home. I don't need to have that on this rigid schedule that mm-hmm. is, you know, I... I can tell you, the day that we have it totally transformed over to the new service is going to be a, a real day for me because that's what we need. That That's the world we live in today. Mm-hmm. We, we want to have flexibility. We want to move when we want to move, and we want to be able to do things, and it allows you to have a great quality of life. Sure, it's like a personal Uber. We don't have Ubers or taxis or anything yeah. like that around here very readily, and this is going to be your own personal service. Yep. No, it's, it's, it's going to be great. It, it's, we're going to have people riding that never thought they'd use public transit. I was at a, well, one of the parties we have, you know, Hall- uh, Christmas here, the holidays. And one gentleman said, you know, I wish there was like a service that I had too many drinks. I shouldn't be driving home. I wish there was a service just, I could call them to take me home. I said, well, stay tuned because <laughs> we may just have that coming <laughs> yes, up for you. Yeah. yeah, we've done some of that in the past on New Year's. We kind of got away from it here for a few years, but uh, we'll have that on a regular basis. So if someone goes out or they want to go out for the evening, they don't have to worry about driving, you mm-hmm. know, and. I think... Um, well, even if you have group, groups of friends, like, you know, some girlfriends oh, sure. or a couple different, oh, sure. um, maybe couples want to go out to uh, mm-hmm. the whiting and see a show, they might want to have a drink at dinner, yeah, but absolutely. you don't want to drive and drink. Absolutely. Definitely don't want to do that. Yeah. You know, and people are going to step back at some point and they're going to say, wow, you know, we have, people are going to say, yeah, something pretty unique there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that will also foster us bringing in some of the, and keeping some of the young talent in our community sure. that will look and say, you know, hey, we have some things here that really work. We don't have to go, you know, somewhere else. We can actually use a service that's here. It gets us to where we want to go. We can have a, we don't need a car. That's nope. the reality. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes in the bigger cities, they're afraid of the Uber. They don't know who they're getting. But with MTA, they, they put them through a, uh, a regimen to make sure that they have a clean record and they're mm-hmm. dependable. And so you, ha- you know you're getting safe transportation yeah. with MTA. Yeah. And, you know, and I'll tell you, you know, as we go into the new year, I have um, – 
I have my concerns. Uh, at the same time, I know that we're going to work our way through it. But, you know, in all the years that uh, I've been in transit and been working through this, I don't think that we've ever had the challenges that we have at the moment to, to address issues. So you don't set back. You know, if we set back, we're going to go out of business. We're like a store that realizes online sales is putting them out of business, and they're right. not changing. They're not changing anything. And they're going out of business. And right. we, we, we'll go out of business if we don't change. Yeah. That's the reality. Well, that's what, you know, Jay Voice said that. He sees the future. You know, you make it happen. Yeah. You don't just do what needs to be done today. You say, what needs to be done in the future? And let's work on that today to get to where we need to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Plan ahead. And, and you know, yeah. you're, uh, w- what we need to do is figure out what are all the options in the days ahead. And I, I've had many of those already charted with staff. And we're talking and we're planning. So we're going to make this happen we're not going to allow it to uh kind of take us over if you will we're going to make it this change happen and uh, it's going to take a lot of patience it's going to take a lot of energy a lot of uh innovation and uh when we come away from it we'll have something so special that others will will wish they had started yeah i bet yeah we had that happen during the pandemic you know, many people would look at our rise to wellness and they would say to me, why in the world are you doing that? I mean, I know, you know, they go, oh, that's too expensive, blah, blah, blah. They go through all, we're not getting involved in that. And even there's times I present in front of three, 400 people, maybe a thousand people in APTA uh, in Washington. And uh, afterwards, we said, well, that's a great presentation, but we're never going to do that. And, you know, we, uh, for a number of reasons during the pandemic, I'll tell you, I ran into so many people that said, we wish we'd have got involved. In really? Because mm-hmm. Interesting. They, re- they realized that they now had to figure out some of these avenues and ways to, to serve the public. Yeah. And they had never even started. And so wow. uh, it all of a sudden, our phone starts ringing. We want to do it. Well, throughout Michigan, now many systems are doing this today. It's just like our hydrogen program. Why in the world do you want to be in that? Now that's not the case. Now it's like, we need to do this. And mm-hmm. so, yeah. Well, and people don't realize that MTA in Flint right here is number one in the medical yep. uh, of transportation in the country because you are, we do it when nobody else has done it. Yes. I mean, you take veterans free to the hospitals, you take anything medical, anything health and wellness, they can get it within 30 minutes, they're going to get you yep. where you have to go. And nobody else does that. We're number one in the whole country. I'm so yep. proud of you for that. Mm-hmm. And I've seen, I've seen them on the phone with, a little old lady that didn't like the bus coming down her road to somebody in Washington, and he puts the exact same amount of interest and time sure. in each one of these com- conversations, Absolutely. and you make it happen. So yeah, thank you. I was proud of you the moment I met you. Okay. I, I met him when I was doing radio. I was oh, yeah, interviewing I used, him. I used to go see her, Mike. Yeah. Well, you know, I was at the uh, State of the City last night, and uh, the mayor went out of his way to uh, really talk about what the MTA is doing. And Good. had a video uh, when we had the press conference with the governor. Yes. Okay. And, um, it, it, well, actually, you know, his, um, his shout-out last night uh, with the crowd that was there, we got an awful lot of uh, attention. And then he turned around and did the other part to show how we transform public transportation and our fuel and what we're doing. And it, uh, I have to give him credit. I can tell you right. that I've been in audiences here in the community with uh, leadership. And um, uh, I will tell you this, that uh, often they forget about the MTA. We got this new thing going on, this new thing going on. They go, wait a minute, are you talk about public transit? We're one yeah. of the, you know, we're, we're one of the lead agencies in the Midwest and they forget, but the mayor didn't. And so I really think, you know, I can't thank him enough. Well, you were in the Urban Transit Award, and that was among like 38 different, 3,800 different agencies, and mm-hmm. MTN Flint won that. So, yeah. so many awards. I don't, we would have to have a whole other podcast <laughs> for the awards he right. has won personally yeah. and for MTA under your yeah. leadership. Yeah. It's been incredible. Well, you know, I, looking forward to a great year. Uh, yep. Yes. Uh, I had, uh, but at the same time, we really will have to communicate at a level we, beyond anything we ever have in the past because we need everybody on board. Yep. Well, I'm on that committee for the Uber type of service, yep. and you're right. There's a lot involved. Yep. There's questions that come up. There's yep. a lot involved, and you have a great team on that one because yep. we've been working diligently yep. trying to make that happen. Yep. And we'll implement the technology that's required to make it happen. There yes. you go. Uh, okay. there Not you go. afraid of a little challenge, and nope. I do love that. Well, we have a great team, and uh, when you have a great team, you know, you don't mind trying some things and uh, – getting everybody ready. And the thing that's important is that we, like I told staff yesterday, is 
we're going to make you aware of these meetings. You can come in the meeting if you want to be there. If we need you there, we'll have you there. But I want to keep everybody on the same page so that sure. we, because we're going to be going through an awful lot of change. Communication yep. is key. It's so important. Oh, it really yeah, is. Absolutely. Sure. You know, and so, sometimes it's kind of comical because I often say, you know, sometimes you walk across the room or walk from one one uh, uh, floor to the next floor, and someone say, "Well, I just heard this or that." And I'm <laughs> like, "Well." We couldn't get to you quick enough to tell you, so <laughs> someone felt they had to run to you. Well, yeah, I'm not running to text me. Text <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks uh, for having me. Having yeah. me in today. Well, sure. Any message you want to give to, for Christmas, for New Year, for the staff, for the community? Any message from Ed, Mr. Ed Benning? Well, a message is you know we uh, we want to wish everyone a very ha- uh, safe and happy uh, um, Merry Christmas and uh, a New Year and. Uh, we appreciate this entire uh, group of people that we work together as a team. Uh, appreciate our families and all the family support, all the community support. And we're very fortunate that we, uh, we have all that in our favor. And so we're able to do much more because of the, uh, the level of support we receive. Well, thank you for that. And I know how busy you are, and I thank you for making the time to come here oh, in absolutely. person to give your message to everyone. So That's right. In the studio, it. yep. That's right. He was there yeah. live serving lunch, you know, the dinner at Salvation Army. He's here live to give you that message. So thank uh, you for that as well. You. Hopefully you have a great Christmas and New Year as well. You too. All Love right. You. And, thank you. And thank you for listening every day and every year. We'll listen to you next That's year right. as well. Right. right. That's right. When we have something in the community, it's going to be positive, helpful, free, anything that might help you along the way. And thank you for listening to the MTA. On the road with the MTA, Jay and Stephanie Kay. You've been listening to On the Road with the MTA. For more information on our services and community outreach, visit us online anytime at www.mtaflint.org. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. The MTA, your community, your connection, your way.